Are we gonna look here? Here you better. Okay. Okay. Okay, here <laughs> and then also there. All right. <laughs> Hello, Rabia. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much that we have the opportunity to have this chat with each other. Well, thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that so far you've been settled in here in Florida. Yes, I actually arrived here around April 9 and it's been a while but you know it's so sad that there's still a pandemic out there that's why me and my team decided to still you know to isolate ourselves as much as possible but good thing I, I met some Filipinos living in California and thank you so much to you and to your mom for helping us here settle in Florida thank you so much of course um, so we're here at last about a month away from the competition yeah. yes so right now you're in quarantine for 14 days because Miss Universe takes things very seriously yes yeah yes. so can you tell us a bit about your how you travel in this pandemic now everything every movement is restricted I must say and it's understandable it, it's mm -hmm. 2021 is different from the past few years that's why I, I really need to to be extra careful I must say and at the same time the good thing is at least we can use technology into our advantage that's right i've been training for most of some aspects in the competition like um q a uh what else makeup hair tutorial I i'm doing it online that's which good. is still helpful i mean it's different but you really need to be motivated you really um, need to want the crown for you to have that thirst that hunger <laughs> that's right um so, so can you tell us a bit about your preparation for the crown so now i have a busy schedule i must say um when i wake up in the morning i would do my hair and makeup i would do some shoots in relation to miss universe requirements or we're also actually filming following rabia which is about to to be in public um just wait for the announcement and i'm very much excited because um this is just once in a lifetime opportunity this is this is gonna be the time of my life oh is that gonna be after or before the competition actually it's the preparation you know the competition the, the pageant is gonna be um in one day but the preparation it takes months and months of training not just physically but also mentally i i actually have my own life coach oh. just to settle everything in its proper place and and i appreciate the organization for helping me because you know what michael this miss universe philippines was my first national pageant ever so everything is new to me I'm so naive in this world, in this industry. Yeah. But every day I grow, every day I improve. And it's it's a wonderful experience that I can share to my future children. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so like you said, this was your first pageant and it's amazing how far you've come. Thank I you. congratulate you for that. I, so I would like to ask you, for people who aren't into pageants, in your experience, what was it about pageantry that got you into it? It's actually the fact that you can touch a lot of lives. I remember I was in high school when I saw the interview of Venus Ra. Ooh. And from there, I, I, I can see myself. I, I was once like her who had humble beginnings, who grew up in a province, who, who is so naive. Um, but it's all about the growth and the, the kind of inspiration that you give to people especially in the philippines we are a pageant loving country absolutely so so i aspire to to share the stories that i have the struggles that i have because that is not just my story it can be you know the story of a lot of young children that's right who wanted to go out of poverty who wanted to be to be an achiever in life yeah so i hopefully um a few little girls or little boys out there can, yeah. <laughs> can, can be in the same position as you were in the past and they could see look up to you as a role oh, model thank you thank you michael can you um talk a bit about your what activities have you done after you you won miss philippines crown how you've influenced and use your voice one of the most beautiful things about being miss universe philippines is that you get to work with different local government units so I've been able to travel all over the Philippines, of course with the restrictions, not, not as much if there's no virus out there, but I was able to 
see different communities. I was able to to see the situation of people there to extend my help. And then I realized that yes, beauty pageants are relevant because as a beauty queen, I'm not just the image of the organization, but I am there to help people. I am there to bring hope, to bring motivation, to bring inspiration. So that is like a wonderful experience. That's amazing. One of your advocacies is that you're very big on education. And yes. <laughs> one of the challenges today with the pandemic is that everything is online. What would you say would be one thing that could help a lot of the educators out there? Let's say if the government can provide supplies. Actually, because of this pandemic, the inequities in our society was highlighted. So we can really see the difference between those students who are privileged enough to have internet access, to have gadgets, laptops, to sustain their education. and thinking if it happened to me when I was still studying with the situation of my life, I wouldn't be able to push myself, you know, to finish what I have. So this is not just the obligation of the government. Of course, they really play a big role, but it is we need to have a holistic approach in, in this kind of problem for us to, to minimize the inequities in, in what we have. And you know what? Um, I, I also appreciate some local government units in my country where they, they really provide laptops to those individuals who come from poor families. And I hope that that would transpire from one place to another. That's can, amazing. can you imagine if, if we were able to help these children, you know, to, to provide, to motivate them? Because I know some of them have lost hope. You know, I, I've been in Bohol and I've been talking to some children there and they are really having a hard time yes, it's adjusting hard. Their, themselves or to, to, to what we have right now. That's right. So, um, what, what would you have to say? Um, one lesson that we can take away from this pandemic, something positive that, that resulted from this, you would have to say. I know, I know it's hard and sometimes to, to be positive in the darkest moments is one of the hardest aspect of having that proper mindset but one beautiful thing that i saw in the situation that we have is that people can really be kind for the longest time i've seen how humanity became selfish putting our personal interest on top of everything else mm -hmm. but because of this pandemic you know um privileged ones were able to extend something even in their own simple ways to the poorest of the poor and hopefully even we don't have any pandemic i hope that we still continue to have that spirit of kindness yes that <laughs> sense of altruism and generosity is indeed contagious and we need to continue that we need to transpire that because by doing such thing we are uplifting the essence of humanity wow such a very kind message thank you for that um, I would like you to address your Filipino fans. There's a lot of them out there in Tagalog, please, if you'd like in to send Tagalog. a message. Yes. Oh, sa, sa mga kababayan natin all over the universe. Um, thank you so much for supporting me and please continue to pray for me. Uh, I know life is not easy um, for the past two years, but we need to continue to aspire to become more even in the most difficult times of our life. And I hope that we still continue to become a medium and to channel blessings um, by doing some little ways, some, some, um, something to offer to our community. Let's continue to do that. And sana po, supportahan nyo ako sa padating na May 16, um, U.S. date yon, and May 17 siya ipapalabas sa Philippines. Um, join me as we conquer the universe. I will do my best to give a good fight and hopefully I make you all proud. Maraming salamat. That's a great message. And one last question. I know that you're a, a proud Ilonga. What would, you have, what would you say is your favorite word or phrase in, in Hiligaynon? In Hiligaynon, my favorite word is padayon, which means continue. Because on. sometimes you, you are placed in a situation where you feel like you have no option at all, where you are stagnant. But all you need to 
think is continue padayon in life there there there's only one way and that is onwards awesome <laughs> that's miss philippines rabia thank you so much for joining and please support her tune in and watch may 16th for her debut in miss universe thank you thank, thank you, you michael